Hello and welcome to my channel. Today it's July the 9th and I should be doing an update for the Outdoor 108 system. But sadly due to an exponential crisis my kitchen got flooded and the cable to the 108 runs through the kitchen. So sadly it's been disconnected for the last four weeks. But I do want to show, show you what we have done throughout the winter and just to show that it can grow. After two weeks of crow lights, my winter cabbage party is coming to fruition with all but two of the spinach germinating and one of the savoy cabbage. But the savoy cabbage is actually one of the strongest as it's got three, three leaves developing now after the first two full ones. It's been 35 days and it's the start of October and we're now ready to transfer them outside into the 108 system. Day 47 of the winter cabbage party and these have all been outside now for two weeks so they're actually growing quite strong although some of the cabbage I have found have dangled a little but I'm hoping as they get stronger that they will grow upwards and not downwards. We've just had a heavy frost here in England as you can see but my winter cabbage is surviving quite nicely got the cabbage greyhound, Savoy King, Savoy Durham, Spinach Beet, Cabbage April Spring, Rhubarb Chard, Cabbage Savoy and Spinach. It's been 90 days now and some of these cabbages are doing better than others but the main thing is that they're still all alive and we may even be able to harvest some of that chard shortly. It's February and some of the cabbages have survived but not all of them and even the rain keeps messing up the pH level so I'm constantly having to chop and change it but at least it's avoiding the storm. We're now into May and as you can see some of the cabbages have survived and the chard's done very well also. Uh, but we'll talk you through all the ones that have failed and the ones that succeeded and even some of the last year's lettuce have come through as well so that's quite interesting to know. 